is your friendly neighborhood scientist. I hope all of you have been doing well lately. Hey, does anyone hear a strange buzzing sound? Oh, I think the bees on my shirt are trying to tell me something. What's that, bees? You think it's time for your favorite science show? That's right! It's science o'clock! But also, do you know what day it is today? Uh, no, it's not my birthday. But it's World Bee Day! Today, we celebrate bees and I'm sure all of you can think of something sweet and delicious that bees are known for making. As Johann Wolfgang once said, the flowers are full of honey, but only the bee finds out the sweetness. Um, actually, the flowers are full of nectar and it only becomes honey after the bee drinks it and then vomits it out in the hive and works on it. And then thanks to the bees, we get to enjoy the sweetness too. And guess what? There are over 300 types of honey. The type of honey depends on the type of flower that the bees gathered the nectar from. For example, here I have avocado honey, which means that the bees gathered the nectar from the avocado plant. Well, in today's special episode, let's find out more about the unique properties of honey. All you'll need are some honey, lemon, vinegar, baking soda, detergent, cups, and some red cabbage juice. You can check out Pepper Slack for a simple tutorial on how to make this using red cabbage. I think they should rename it. Does this look red to you? No, I think it's purple. Step 1. Pour some red cabbage juice into the 5 cups. Red cabbage juice is what we call a natural pH indicator, which means that you can use it to test whether something is acidic or basic by looking at its color change. Let's try this out with a few household items. Into the first four cups, I'm going to add lemon, vinegar, baking soda, and detergent. Wow, did you see what happened? Over here, the cups with lemon and vinegar turned pink, which means that they are acidic. And the cups with baking soda and detergent turned blue, which means that they are basic. What about honey? Let's add some to the last cup and see what happens. Ta-da! The red cabbage juice turned slightly pink. In comparison, this is what it looked like before the honey was added. If we were to arrange the cups according to the colour gradient, we can tell how acidic or basic something is. Lemon juice and vinegar was the most acidic, honey is slightly acidic, water is neutral, detergent and baking soda are basic. Now, besides honey being acidic, it also has a low moisture content. That's why it's so gooey. So, it's not easy for bacteria to survive in honey. Honey can also produce a small amount of hydrogen peroxide that kills bacteria. Wow, who knew that honey is so powerful? Well, aside from providing us with honey, bees also help to pollinate two-thirds of our fruit and vegetables. Without them, we wouldn't have our favourite apple, watermelon or pumpkin. But it seems there aren't as many bees around in recent years. I wonder what happened to them. Well, maybe you can find out and let us know in the comments what you think you can do to help the bees. Additionally, Science Centre Singapore has put together a few resources on World Bee Day. Check out the description for the links. And that's all we have for you on today's episode of Science O'Clock. If you plan on trying this experiment out at home, tag us in your photos and videos so we can enjoy them too. Take care everybody and stay tuned for more bite-sized Stay at home signs. Bye bye.